Hey, this is Chip Desard with WebVideoChefs.com. Want to do a quick tutorial about masking. A uh, question came across uh, Twitter from Casey at Zendog Media about making curves in your video. So if you want to curve in a video. So what I'm going to do, I have some clip, a clip of myself. I'm going to put this in the timeline. And actually, I'm going to put two clips in the timeline. I'm going to hit another one. Just hit the W key and then the E key. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to open up my effects panel. So you can open up your effects panel, your effects browser by Command-5 as well. Then I'm going to go down to key Keying. And then I'm going to go under Circle Mask, or I like using a Vignette Mask. Because you can put that there like that, a Vignette Mask. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to apply a Vignette Mask to uh, myself. And you'll see something in the middle. This is called the Fall Off right here. Alright, and if you look right here, you'll be able to see that... The more the fall off, the more the vent. This looks more like a circle. And then I can I oval and then I can resize it if I want it to. All right. I can show where I want the center to be. See, I can, that's my center if I want to adjust it. Or I can just adjust this as my center. So that's my center. So when I, when I talk and when I do that, yeah. I have the you fall off on the edges, just on the edges here. You can also do a circle mask, and I can put the circle mask. It's, 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 it's not as, as good as the vignette, but it has its place. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the circle mask here, click on it, and then we're going to feather the edge. So we can feather that edge, and we can scale it, and that is just a little bit better than that. And we can also rotate. If we want some kind of way to rotate the circle, it doesn't really matter because it's a circle, so that's that's there. And also in this, you can keyframe each of these, all right, as well. So if I wanted to put something on top of this, and um, you know, or do something else, I can I can I can use that as as a mask. Last one I like is an image mask um, that I rarely use, but uh, you can definitely definitely use it as well. An image mask is if you have another image you want to put behind let's just you select a, a image any source clip so let's select um, let's just select an image right here say subscribe then I will hit apply clip okay so right now you don't see anything because the image is an alpha <clears throat> but if I put it red green or blue so I can put blue there. Then I can offset the mask, or if I want to invert the mask, I can do this, you know, subliminally. Say, hey, subscribe. You know, make it come in. You know, you ever see something jump in in a video? If I wanted to do that, alpha is just means it's just, it's not, you know, it's um, transparent. So I'm doing that and luminance. I can do that. Just it would take the take all the color out. All right. So that is another way to do it. Um, I rarely use these things, but if you want it to, you can put the mask uh, down here. Or you know, remember when you move the mask, you move the image. So where the mask is, is it's where it is. So those are the three ways to make curves in your video. I like the alpha channel, uh, the feather. I'm sorry, the vignette mask the best best if I'm doing that. If you have any other questions, you can always email us or tweet us at webvideochefs.com. Take care.